Welcome back to Rune Terra Academy Extracurricular Activities Week Number Six. I am PVS. Uh, I am joined with a a large crew of people today. I got CBR Acid, Jason Crip Five, and Red, as well as Ivar in the uh, in the call. Hi. Hello, everyone. Hola. How's it going? Oh yeah. I mean, <laughs> you just want to start it off with the uh, senior power rankings uh, for Week Six. Hey, you go ahead. I'm, I'm typing something. Go ahead. All right, all right. So first, we still got unchallenged Akuma Blades, followed by Nightless. Uh, a tie for third between OGW and G7M. Fifth place, we have CPP. Sixth, we have TAG. And rounding it out, seventh and eighth, we have Puds and Redbird. Uh, you want to make any comments on it while I'm still typing? I agree. I agree with these uh, these rankings. If I'm not wrong, uh, after last week's games, Akuma, Nightless, Mega, G7, and CPP all qualified for playoffs, correct? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All, five, all of the top five teams are now qualified for playoffs after the uh, CPP versus PUDS victory. Yeah, so it's pretty self-explanatory that they should be the top five there. Um, and I think, according to the Foldy Sheets, Team Ambition Glory is... Um, has the highest percentage out of the bottom three yeah. teams to get that last spot. They are very poised to take that sixth and final spot in senior. Uh, obviously, that that one match win is very important. Uh, I don't have it up who they beat. It it was probably Puds or Redbird. So it was, it was Puds. Okay, so they have a tiebreaker as well over them. So yeah. TAG most likely going to take that sixth spot. Uh, you could probably count on that. Um. Yeah, and you know what's great about this is that uh, AKM decided that they would schedule to play G7M in like 30 minutes. So um, mm. that'll be a banger. Unfortunately, we won't be able to watch it, um, but a, kind of a rematch of last year's finals. I mean, last season's finals. Um, and it really a good opportunity for G7M to prove that they're not worse than they were last season. That's true. I mean, uh, that's 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 what they're after, isn't it? Right. So uh, they've been talking a lot of trash, like a lot, a lot of trash. So uh, this week, if they lose, it's gonna be uh, kind of embarrassing for them. Yep. That. I mean, Akuma's only dropped three total games so far. Well, uh, G Seven M, if you remember last season, I believe they only lost what two total. So they've already doubled that number. So. Uh... You know, uh, well, obviously they're they're uh, half as good as they were last season. Yeah, that works. So, uh, I think the only discrepancy we need to talk about is the fact that I have OGW fourth and you have them third. Yep. Um, I'm, that might have been a mistake on my part <laughs> because I think OGW is better than G7F currently. Yeah, I think he did they're, make a mistake. Uh, but their loss to AKM puts them last week puts them in kind of a awkward position. Um, then again, you know, if AKM beats uh, G7M, then they're back on even footing. So, uh, yeah, I mean that yeah. that's what I was kind of basing mine off of was like, if Akuma beats both of them, then they're both like the same rank, kind of. Uh, yeah, I mean, I still think OGW would would beat G7 if they played again, like right now, but. Okay. Yep. Uh, I mean, I disagree, but okay. Um, <laughs> ever any uh, comments about maybe the Nightless team? You know, you have a little bit of small ties to Nightless. Uh, yeah. Uh, kinda, uh, nobody's talking about them, but they're they're sitting there at second right now. I, I'm just waiting for the last um the last week. I really want to see how Nightless does Akuma uh, does against Akuma. That's going to be a really, uh, really big indication on how this playoffs will pan out. Um, but it's kind of weird, right? Uh, if I'm not wrong, Nightless beat G7. Uh, OGW beat Nightless, if I'm not wrong. Yep. Um, and then Akuma beat OGW, and uh, awesome. we don't know if they beat. But we don't know if they beat G7 yet. They play in about 30 minutes, and they play Nightless the last week. So it seems like Akuma has versed the bottom three teams already. Um, so that's maybe why they're at that five and zero, but we'll see over the next two weeks. 
Yeah, yeah I mean, anybody else have any comments on the senior division? I mean, it's pretty straightforward, right? We know what the five teams are going to playoffs already. Uh, the sixth spot is up in the air, but it's not really up in the air. I think as long as TA Glory beats Redbird, they're in. And uh, the, uh, likely lo- lo- the likelihood of that happening is pretty high, I would say. Yeah, looking at the uh, the O ten game score, I- I'd be pretty confident going into that as TAG. Let's get on to the spicy stuff. This is pretty straightforward. True, true. All right, junior time, junior time. Sure. All righty. So once again, we're back to the, the clash of the top. CB Rush oh, and BBC man. tied it first. Once again, we got Air okay. Esports Revival at third, OG, uh, OGU at fourth, Zen R at fifth, Nameless Empire at sixth, MTC and Catalyst Eclipse taking up the bottom two spots. Uh, one thing I want to touch on real quick is it's not OG Utes, so OG question mark. Uh, we really True. have uh, Ivar in the call, so if you could uh, please respect <laughs> these teams. Nope, like, that'd be great. that's what it is on this, so that's what I'm reading. And uh, next, uh, EVR is still t- tied for first. Like, what is happening? I'm still putting them first, why- Okay, I need to hear a good reason why they're first. They're my pick to win playoffs. I don't want to hear from you. I want to hear from Acid. Okay, good. From good. me? Yeah. I mean, I think that's a valid, like, a valid point. If, uh, if you think the team's going to, or whoever wins the, the league, the playoffs, should be your number one ranked power ranking team, right? Whether it's like a dark horse or the best team, it should be your number one. And clearly PVS knows uh, who's going to win. I don't know if he's a fortune teller, if it runs in the bloodline, but uh, he's right with that one. Okay. There's a lot, a lot of copium in this. You keep saying right that, but it keeps working uh, out. PBS they is... haven't lost the game since. PVS uh, is sometimes all match that good sense. stuff, and so yeah, could be the situation. PVS we'll is say, good. I will push. say, I think everybody can unanimously agree that those are the top two teams. Uh, I think oh, yeah, everybody's on the same sure. page there. Yeah. Um, the other slots could be up for debate, um, but. I mean, according to me yeah. and Red, we all we we both agree. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, actually, now I look at it; it's exactly the same. Yeah, I mean, I'm yeah. not going to push on it. The Air Esports did beat Mega Gaming Unknown, so yeah, yeah. I, it's it's pretty straightforward at this point in the season. We kind of like almost every team has played almost every team, right? I mean, obviously they there's more teams for each team, but we could kind of do like results based analysis right? because uh. VR beat Air, Air beat OG, so we can kind of file them in that order. But, um, you know, OG still has a chance. They play CBR week seven. Uh, they could definitely make a run for the top two seed. Uh, but, uh, CBR also dropped a game against Air Esports, so it makes us much more confident to put them in third, I, w- I would say, wouldn't you say, PBS? Yep. I mean,. BBC also dropped a game to uh, who was it? Uh, I don't, uh, they I don't dropped a game up. to Zen. Yeah, okay, yeah. Zen R. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I mean, I, I I still think CBR is gonna gonna be first, but I think Air Esports is definitely like a really strong contender contender for like top three. So right, here, here's what I'll say: We've heard BBC's opinion on this. Now that we have Acid in here, yeah, Acid. Why did you lose 2-0 to BBC? Um, because they paid me. I mean, never mind. Uh, honestly, it Leaked. was huh? <laughs> leaked. Leaked. Yeah. No. Honestly, uh, they were on top of their game that day, and they told me in private DMs, they're like, "Yo, we have to sweat so hard against these guys." So they were definitely sweating, and uh, I was coming back from a little injury, um, oh. and uh, you know. I'm things excuses that's all i'm hearing yeah hey, man <laughs> it happens yeah, yeah i had an injury so um injury. don't don't ask what but you know sometimes you get injured mentally and uh <laughs> after you get injured in game one game two is harder to play okay okay just just don't be hurt don't yeah. be hurt yeah. yeah i mean i try my best but sometimes you know you just drop a game and then you know it spirals i think i will uh, tell say... us Oh, go ahead. 
like in terms of power rankings, I haven't played against Omega. I haven't well, I haven't played against three teams. Um, CE, Omega, and uh, who am I playing? I'm, uh, who am I playing this week? Oh, you playing? Uh, Is it my tourney? Empire. No. Empire. N Nameless Empire. Yeah, so I haven't played against those three teams. Um, however, out of all the teams, excluding BBC, Air did have, um, like they were good competition. Although we had some messy plays game two, and I believe we could have won that game two. They are still, you know, I'd give them three, four for sure. So I agree with the majority of the power ranking. Obviously, uh, BBC should be below me, but that's okay. I agree. Okay. Yeah, let's go to the <laughs> true spicy stuff, though. The I true mean, spicy stuff. is it sophomore time? In-house? Sophomore time? Does anybody have any comments on Junior? I mean, it feels like we just blew through that one. There's not much to talk about, right? I feel, I, mean, like, like... I feel like once we get to week six, now where we like we're towards the back end of the season, a lot of it's kind of then uh, it's kind of in there, right? Like there's no speculation to result be done. Based. Yeah. It's all result based yeah. uh prediction. The numbers don't lie. I mean there is some big changes happening in one of the divisions of one of the classes. Yep. Uh, due, right. to, due to some things that I happen. wonder. Uh so maybe we can move on to that. All right, sophomore division two. This is uh, I can the finger trouble looking division. good drama. <laughs> hey guys, why is well, um, whoa, what? Damn, it looks looks pretty crazy. Yep, Man, it is pretty crazy. Imagine being four one with a five zero game record. Unbelievable. <laughs> Yo, just don't just don't lose. Oh wait, no, just don't get comp ruled. Big brain. Yeah, no, uh, no, OMTZ. Just stop getting FF wins. Like, yeah. Yeah, and Wait. also stop getting FF losses. <laughs> How Don't does ask. this make sense? Why is it 5-0? Why is... See, that's an FF loss and we don't get... Oh, I understand losses. that, but why is Team Ambition then 8-0? They have an FF win. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, yeah, FF wins don't a lot of the, the numbers. Yeah. A lot of teams uh, got FF wins this week um, from previous weeks uh, because of something that happened. Yep. My, what could have uh, happened? Don't know. But basically, uh, one of the teams, they had a little oopsie uh-oh. And uh, now they're sitting there 1-4 and four with a 0 score. Uh, yeah. So, they are technically not out of playoffs. If they go undefeated and another team goes winless, uh, they can still grab that fourth spot. But it's pretty doomed for them at this point. Um, if that doesn't happen. I mean, that's like... The sheet says something like six percent chance of that happening. So uh, it's not I mean, a, not zero, but it is there is a too low, too low. Damn. Can I, I have just have one question though. Yeah. So like for the juniors, we were showing like the matches played, but in sophomore, we don't see the matches. Maybe. Huh? Well, so if you're for example let's look at project maverick right if you're four one you won four series you lost one series clearly you should have eight wins and not four right no, wait because one of them was a ff and one of them was a oh because everyone yes. everyone got oh, yeah. a lot of been FF wins. FF. oh okay this is the ff it looks FF very division. strange okay yes. that's why it looks so weird okay thanks for the clarification sophomore has been uh quite uh, drama filled this season um, Midley, I like how Roar is lower than mid still. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna say that, but you know, obviously it's uh, jungle gap because you look at Doki, and you know his player rating is better than a certain former jungler on mid potato. So I don't know why they're below mid potato, but that's just okay. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, then that just means that uh, mint potato has the opportunity to replace their old jungler with a better one. Yep. Uh, and then the other four people still have hands in the list, so. Um, which is not something we could say for maybe some of the other teams. So um, that's why Mint got the nod. So pretty interesting that Red didn't put TAGA for it this this time. <laughs> well, I didn't put him. I didn't put him uh, first. I meant put to put them second. first, but uh, forgot Misclick. to oh, forgot true. to type that in. Yeah, I have lucky. DMs to prove it. I think uh, TAGA like I think. I think it's actually close between OMTZs and TAGA though. Like, even though, like, standings wise, wait, you guys already played them, right? 
when we oh, play them man. Saturday. Oh, well, oh. hopefully Saturday. We just have to figure that schedule yeah. thing out. I mean, I think the first spot is, I, I think it's closer than it seems because, like, both teams, like, I don't know, for TG, like, they went through a couple of changes, right? So, like, it's not the same TG as the start. But, I mean, both teams are, like, kind of haven't lost. So, I think that's, like, going to be pretty much match of the week, right? Saturday. Right. Well, OMTZ doesn't have the same roster as what they started with. Isn't that right, Ivar? Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. true. <laughs> so... that's, that's pretty true. Yeah. <laughs> so... Damn, wait. Yeah, uh, right. Here's, How did that here's... happen? I wonder. Uh, that's strange. Um, I put OMTZ first, and uh, bold claim, bold prediction. I know Carito's in the chat, so I want him to listen up. Carito's thinking. Own... It's an OMTZ 2-0 this week. Like, Whoa! Is that what you put? It's that's what. Well, I don't know if I put it, but now that's see. what I'm gonna change it to right now. No, you can't change it. You already uh, locked it in. My all right. I'm saying it with my mouth. Uh, that it's a two zero. I think it goes three games though. Not gonna lie. I don't know. The pressure's too much. Uh, yeah. you, like you put this. OMTZ two one. Yeah, yes, it's fine. It's now it's a two zero because okay. I just said it. Um, I mean, but OMTZ they uh. They they literally just came off a huge tournament win, something like three hundred dollars. Whoa, wait, that's, that's, that's a lot of money. Yeah, right uh, they didn't drop a single game in a double limb tournament between three teams. But, uh... <laughs> wait, how is it a double question. limb tournament if it's three teams? Don't ask questions. Just understand that they want it. Okay. I got a question hey. for uh, anyone who like partakes in the sophomore divisions. Who would y'all say is the star player on Zeus? Power player on Zeus? Damn, it has to be Ridley Prime. Look at that guy. He's so hot. So is that the good. top laner? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I think it's this pretty is... clearly Kite and... Oh, I, I want... Okay, so this is going to sound like... Egotistical biased, because you're going to say yourself? No, I'm not going to say myself. Okay. I think yourself. our support goes under the radar really heavily. Um, I think he's the best support in the league. Mm, and we down. didn't, but we didn't say that. He said, "What's the best player on OMTZ?" I think he player. facilitates everybody to look like they're the best player on the team. Makes so him look good. Saying... He makes Ridley takes looks good. So he's like okay. a point guard. He doesn't necessarily he, even Ridley all saying all it. it. It's Quanta. Quanta's not balanced. I'm telling you, he he is absolutely insane. Quanta going crazy with it. Hmm. I have seen the Quanta Amumu gameplay. It's pretty nutty. Yeah, but that's oh. a Mumu. Like you can. You can play a Mumu <laughs> with one hand. Well, Mumu just got nerfed for the support role, so... Thankfully. Oh, yeah, that's true. He's still I, I playable, it... though, honestly. If you're good, sure. Yeah. If uh, if I could uh, watch all the games, I would kind of want to watch OMTZs to see how many solo kills Kaiden actually gets, because KDA is kind of nuts. Is I that wonder the how much is... That's the middle mid laner. Okay. Uh, his KDA is like 9.6. He's only got 8 deaths all season. Well, I'm kind of wondering, like, how much of that is facilitated himself and how much is facilitated by this jungler. Mm, this that's team. true. Uh, because right now, he's the number one rated player in, in sophomore. Not for long. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah you're coming for the title? I'm, 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 I'm making my way up there. I'm going to do it. It's going to be a long climb. Okay, I like it. Um, right. That's pretty much the other... it for right? I think so. I think uh, we didn't really talk about the other teams, so we could touch on them real quick. Uh, we didn't talk about Spider on stilts, and I think that's important to talk about. Oh, yeah. Um, they just got um, Lou in the top lane. That's actually huge, because he's, like, really good. They got Shu, and they got Lou, and they're both doing really well for that team. They look like a completely different team now. Um, and, uh, yeah, they're looking really poised to take that fourth slot. Who did they just... They beat somebody in kind of an upset, like, last week. They beat... Uh, was it Revenge? Yeah, it was Revenge. Yeah, yeah it was Revenge. Revenge. That's right. They were supposed to play Mint this week, but... Oh, they're still... Wait. Are they supposed to play Mint this week? Revenge is supposed to play Mint this week. If I'm Revenge, not... Revenge is supposed to play Mint this week. And that looks like it's still happening. Oh, SOS oh. plays PM this week, I believe. Yes. Oh, that's a that'll be a nice one. And then they play us. They just oh. need to win one series. Yes. I mean, we'll SOS... Point... Yeah, oh, no, I was going to say, like, the SOS PM game will actually be huge for playoff standings, right? Because then it'll determine pretty much who plays, like, Blue Sprouts or who plays TA Wolves. Well, I have something that's pretty interesting. I'll talk about it right now. 
Uh, I think there's a more interesting match for playoff um, implications. And it's not a match that most people would recognize. So, for context, when Mint got its comp rolling, Mint was allowed to replay any match as long as the any t enemy captain agreed. So the enemy team had to agree to replay the match that they FF lost. Uh, so Project Maverick actually agreed to replay the match between Mint, which, if you're asking me, is kind of inting. Um, you're kidding me. Wait, I'm so not kidding you. Project Maverick are going to play Mint again. I got a they question. I'm going to replay the series with Mint's new roster. Project Maverick Damn. agreed. Mint asked, Project Maverick agreed, and, uh, you know, if both teams agree, we prove it. Did um, Mint so... win the first time, though? Pretty sure it was 2-0. Mint. Yeah, it was 2-0 oh. first time. And then Mint had to do an FF loss. Project Maverick has the win, but Project Maverick has agreed to replay them, so... Uh, that's pretty huge for Mint because if they're really not that much worse than they were with without their new with their new jungler, and they're probably going to make playoffs because they I... only play Revenge and Roar, and they should beat both of those teams. And then there's a good chance that they beat PM. So, mm, I mean, PM is like still pretty good. Like their jungler, former stunned gaming product. All former stunned gaming products are really good at the game. So P I like PM. They're PM similar. are actually a pretty good team. I think they're not bad. Like, a lot of it is going to be on on jungle, but it'll it'll be hard to say though. I'll I be think. candid. Mint asked us, and I said no. I'm, <laughs> I'm be I honest. think that's super fair. Uh, I mean, we beat them with their ineligible player, so I mean, does it really do anything for us to have to play them again and beat them again? I mean, you so, can get more wins and secure first that way though. Nah, if you were a real chill male. You just tool them again to show them that they're really not worth your time. The, pro the problem is we don't have days to play. You don't understand. We can <laughs> literally play I Saturdays a busy and eat. That's it. Ivar's a very busy man. Damn. I'll fill Damn. for you if you want. Yeah. Smile. Yeah. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Anyways. No problem. <laughs> is there anything else for Division 2? or? Uh, I think that's it. So uh, I think uh, PM, SOS, and Mint, maybe even Revenge, could all be taking one of those spots. Especially because PM decided to put their whole lives on the line for no reason. <laughs> By playing Mint Pretty. again. Maybe they're busy uh, for playoffs, so they just like, let's just tip, get it over with that. <laughs> yeah. So is Queen's Gambit and Ra just like really, really. But Queen's not Gambit good? Bishop's just. Dropped out, and then okay. Raw is just Gambit. Raw is really good. They just don't want to show us that. <laughs> okay, the scaling all. for playoffs. Yeah, they think like, like everyone's new to the game, so they want to just let everyone like have some time to just get familiar and you know warm up mm, and stuff. Not... The uh, sophomores I... top four that make playoff, right? So yes. they're counting it close. <laughs> I think it's um from what I understand is uh Raw is prioritizing other stuff than than this team. Which is fine. Yeah. Um, it's just their choice, so that's why I didn't even bother talking about them. If you're just gonna forfeit games because you want to play somewhere else, then they're not even worth to be spoken about, in my opinion. True. Mm. Okay. Incorrect. Sophomore, sophomore um, division one time. I'm time, time, time. Go, go, go. All right, all right. In first, we still got Team Ambition Wolves. We got second, Blue Sprouts. Yeah. OMTH at third, Nameless Fantasy moving up two spots to get to fourth, TDS sitting at fifth, as well as Krakens of Love. Zenigma Zenith did find a match win, so they are sitting at seventh, and Redbird Club Junior Academy at eighth. I think um I think BSP kind of got a little unlucky by playing TAW the first week of the season. Yeah. No, I, think... I mean <laughs> If you played them now, I think BSP probably wins it. No, this uh, okay. Is my hot take. I mean, speaking as someone who played, like, absolutely, like, what is it? First game, like, we first game we won, right? Because I I went sicko mode and I popped off. But like second game, second game I played Soraka in the Malphite top. So I I, I think like, you know, like t I'm taking that with a grain of salt, and I think that if we played now, I think we would probably win, but still be close. Because I mean, we went three games with TA Wolves, and and we were like griefing. Like third game, we picked like Rakan's Rakan set bot. So like, I think it's definitely like no. We we were setting up for, to meet them in the finals for our rematch. That's why. 
But I think now that we have our roles settled and now that we have a coach too, like I actually think I think we're better in the sense that um our potential's unlocked. But then obviously, you know, we already played week one, which is a shame. Uh, it is a shame. Uh, I think, I think we, pr I predicted early on that you guys were going to show up and I think you were like, you were Owen two at one point and we still had you like power ranked fourth or something a bunch of, <laughs> above a bunch of teams that actually had won a series. And, uh, you know, the faith, the faithful were rewarded. That's all I'll say. Rio in the last three weeks, I'm destroying a lot of teams. Wait, wait, yeah, you haven't dropped a single game in the last three weeks. Oh, you probably won't this. drop another one for the rest of the season. I, I said this in week two. I said Blue Sprouts is scaling. Then I said wait till they get familiarized with their roles that they're playing. Um, they all have comp experience, a lot of comp experience. Uh, you can't count them out. Uh, and I said that, and here we are. Where, uh, in my opinion, I think they're the best team in Division One. But thank um, you, Ivar. I, I agree. Definitely, like, uh, they, they've been consistent towards the back end of the this split which is uh important um, yeah i was i was gonna say like uh like i said earlier that if bsp had played taw like this week i, I think bsp wins that oh the biggest, to me they're the best team the biggest thing in in division one from my eyes is uh like maybe four maybe even five out of the eight teams have just been an inconsistent which is like red flags for me uh the only two teams i can say that have been consistent uh, towards like the back end of the split have been that Blue Sprouts and Wolves. Yeah. Since we have Jason on, Jason, mm -hmm. you play Zen Z and then Nameless. Do oh you, yeah. Do you drop a reg a, another game for the rest of the season? Um. Okay. So Zen Z did pick up a new top laner, right? And then it seems like, I mean, just based on word word around town, like it seems like their whole pacing and stuff, and just how they're carrying themselves, like I think they're they seem better, they feel better than their current standing. That's for sure. One thing I will say though is Bude is probably, probably if the best, if not like second best top laner in entire sophomore. So it's top gonna ADC. top laner, top laner, because I'm I'm ADC. Oh and speaking God, of ADCs, yeah, no, 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 yeah. First week, um, first week he was playing AD because I wanted to lane against Lawrence, but now like we're like in our proper roles. I think Bude is probably the best top laner in this division, and. Like I'm not trying to ego, but I think I'm probably like up there in terms of one of the be better ADCs in like Division Two. Not to mention, I think I don't know with Blue Sprouts. I think it just happens that the five of us like work well together because like Caxi is you know everyone memes like Caxi and stuff for like you know low 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 ratings and that type of stuff. But like the utility and vision he provides is really good. So I'm I'm actually really thankful for that. Not to mention like Andy, like his sense of the game is really good. Whenever like. I play with them like there's just like some things like I don't need to say anything and like there's things that just happen and it, it works out. It, it's hard to explain, but I think we I think there's a low chance we drop another game purely because like everyone on the team's like really focused. Like we all we all have kind of a similar mindset when it comes to the games, and so I think I think we don't I don't I think I don't think we drop in, drop any more games. That's for sure, or not not for sure, but most likely. Okay. Oh. We have everyone here. Who's going to take these last two spots? They're going to be OMTH and Nameless, or is one of those going to drop? I told you they're all so consistent, inconsistent. I have no no clue. I won't even be surprised if Z Zenigma somehow gets one of the spots. It's possible for Zenigma. That's the thing. Because I remember the they games have against. Oh, have to they have to be two sprouts. Yeah. 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 I remember like playing against the donut shop. Um... Was I wasn't really that impressed by the donut shop. Um, I know Dallas subbed in for Krakens of Love, and this was like pretty much like a two, one or two days decided. And like the, Dallas didn't get much practice time with the team, but you know that was still kind of pretty simple in terms of twoing Krakens of Love too. Redbird, like you know, don't really need to talk about like how that went. But it's I think Zenig would definitely have a chance because I mean they play us this week, and then I mean hopefully we two owe them right, obviously, but. I think they still have a chance, right? Because after us, who do they play? Uh, is it Enigma? Who do they play? Yeah, I Red think... Uh, ISU. They play Redbird. So I think they can two a Redbird because... They're going to put them at two and four, but it's not going to be enough. They're going to need to have yeah. two more wins. Yeah. And then who did Nameless play? Nameless, Nameless plays KOL. They play KOL and then us. 
Oh wait, so it's doable. If Sonigma lose lose the next one and then win the next two, Nameless just only it's lose. Only, it's it's only doable. Only oh, it's only two games. games? Okay, never mind. Uh, oh, sorry, <laughs> no, never mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think I think off of looking at the schedule, I think OMTH has like the lock. easiest. Yeah, yeah, they have ISU and then TDS. Um, so I want to say them for sure. Um, the rest is kind of up in the air. One of the teams, one of those teams, are going to have to beat one of these stronger teams. Yeah. So. I think if OMTH beats ISU, they're they're locked. I'm pretty sure. They're locked third oh, or second? Locked no, because if, if Nameless oh. beats Krakens of Love and then Hades loses to TDS, it throws everything off. Oh, I think, oh, for Blue Sprouts, we lock second as long as we just 2 0 both games or 2 0 both <laughs> games in the conference. I mean, right? <laughs> yes. I don't you know. you would yeah. at least lock playoffs. Yeah, I think so. We just need to win one and we lock playoffs, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. Pretty yeah. Sure. Oh, perfect. Nice. I think four is the number. Like, I, I'm pretty yes. sure four is going to be the number. So, it, I mean, there are possibilities where, like, other teams can, like, grab it and tie for you, like, tie you four wins. But I think four is going to be, like, way in. If you get four, you're probably set. So, especially if you have a positive game score. Uh, like the the fifth the teams that are tied for fifth here they they both have negative game score it's gonna be really hard even if they t they two own the next two weeks it's gonna be really hard to get in. Hmm. Well, yeah, it, it's it's almost impossible for TDS to get in at this point. I think. Would you uh like to move on to the freshman power rankings? Sure. <laughs> Alrighty, alrighty. So freshman division two, we have Shogun Hunter still at the top five and zero, BDES at second as well as TD Shadow, Corvus Blades taking up to fourth spot, Rar Silvers at fifth, Glacial Esports Spectre at sixth, and that's that seems like it's about it. Yeah, um, it is about it. But it's funny that you didn't mention Imperium and Undying United, but rated Imperium yep. above GES. Oh, I mean, it's I look at the one in ten game score, and I'm like, uh, Wait. that's pretty rough. I'm not gonna. Lie. How? It's why? Pretty toxic. Why is there? What happened with Imperium FFs? It's all FFs. Yeah, FF win early on in the season, and then they. they just... It's so much potential. Such good logo. Unlucky. Yeah, very unlucky. Really? Is Roar trying in this league? I mean, uh, according that, to their game score, kind of. Yeah. I, this is the league that there's some conspiracy theories going around about uh, teams doing some match fixing to keep Roar out of playoffs. <laughs> uh, so I don't know how true that is. <laughs> that's what the... That's, that's the rumor. That's the rumor, rumor mill. I like yeah. that. Who's rumoring this? Is it Roar rumoring this? Or is it everybody <laughs> else rumoring this? Because... That's a big distinction. <laughs> I'm not at liberty to say, but okay. let's just say in the uh, I heard it through the grapevine. Okay, uh, that maybe one of the top teams FFs to one of the lower teams to keep a team out. Is that Tis not Max, punishable? It is a hundred percent punishable, guys. That in mind, just need proof. Uh, Don't FF. Just need proof. FF, just win your game. Um. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so the top five uh, competing for four spots. Uh, yep. It's going to be pretty tough for Roar. They would literally, I think they, I don't know, that's going to be <laughs> that's gonna be real rough. First, they have to beat Corvus this week. If they don't beat Corvus this week, I think it's it, it's just over, right? I think this match determines almost everything. Yes. Um, match of the week, uh, for Cor sure, sure, get it on stream. Sure. Um. I think whoever wins that just gets the fourth slot. I think it's, I don't know how, how the other math wa works out, and I kind of don't want to think about it, but just pretend that that's the case. Whoever wins between Corvus and Rari probably gets the spot. It's fair. It's fair assumption. Uh, because they both play. Uh, Rar plays BDS, BDS week seven, and Corvus plays Shogun Hunters week seven. So. Uh, <laughs> 
it's going to be tough for them to win in week seven. So basically, whoever wins week six is going to get it. Um, yeah, I think it's uh, there's not going to be much movement here. TD Shadow took like a big series off of Corvus 2 1 last week um, and locked themselves a basically locked themselves a playoff spot. Um, and it's, they're sitting really nice. And uh, I don't think it could beat. Logan Hunters or BDES, though. That's the problem. They look better than every other team in this division by a long shot, but they look mar like pretty much way worse than Shogun Hunters and BDES. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, with with only five teams in the uh, in the division, it's I'm gonna feel 16. pretty bad to not. Remember, sorry, 16. sorry. Six teams in the division. Well, I mean. I'm pretty sure GES is just kind of out. Like they mathematically can't can't make it. Oh, also, so. GES's season is over. Their last two weeks are two FF wins. Uh, uh, it's two and five, two and five. Finish two and five and one and ten. So their season is over. But yeah, um, yeah. There's not much more to talk about. Uh, we'll find out really this how this whole division shakes out next week. If TD Shadow somehow up right, uh upsets shogun hunters this week that would make things very very interesting but other than if if shogun hunters wins then it's going to be very straightforward yep uh division, okay, division one? one all righty so in first we have the undisputed uh kingpin gaming in second we have zen Yu. Uh, sorry zenigma unknown uh third we have bded up two spots fourth we have shogun 2027 2077 Fifth, we have Flannel. Sixth, we have QGK. Seventh, we have Nameless. And an empty eighth slot. <laughs> we have names. They're, they're they don't still... deserve. Okay, okay. It's a little toxic. Okay. I mean, if you don't win, why should we remember you? Oh. Okay. If you FF, why should we? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so, is Enigma Unknown? Very strangely, I would say, got 2 0 by BDED last week. Uh, from what I understand, they were fielding some subs. Um, but, I mean, they had been dominant all season long, and to just use like that in such a dominating fashion is uh, a yikes for them. They have a chance to redeem themselves by playing KPG this week. Um, and basically, whoever wins that is just going to get the first seed. Uh, BDED had a couple down weeks, uh, but now they're back, I think. I've always been high on them all season. Um, and, uh, yeah, I got them placed second because they beat Unknown. But uh, I think Flannel's going to take that last playoff spot over Shogun 2077. I know I'm going to get screamed at in freshman chat, added by a certain jungler for Shogun 2077. But, um, yeah, I, I just I think Flannel's just playing much better than Shogun 2077 at the end of the season. Uh, it's just my take. Take. Do you have flannel making playoffs? I do. I have him making playoffs. There you go. Nice shot, take. Get to figgy diff. I can say. You say uh, you had a, a, a spicy take? Or a hot take? take? No, I was just commenting oh. on red. That's my hot take. I, I think from what I've heard from inside Shogun 2077, they've completely mental boomed. It's doomed at this point. Uh... Flannel's getting hot at the right time. So. I mean, didn't Shogun just win last week? Beat QGK. I mean, and they they have two wins. Like, that's uh, <laughs> that's all I need to say about that. Okay. Yo. Uh, oh. uh, that's a acid. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, prediction time. That's a thought to myself. Okay. Pretty cool. Sometimes I gotta hype myself up too. You look at the fucking <laughs> reflection in the monitor. Yo. <laughs> no. I just played a forty-five minute Malphite game, and it's not showing up in matches. I think I got docs or some shit, bro. Where's my LP? Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> Malphite's busted. If anybody wants to join the Church of Malphite, just at me in general, and I'll Malphite teach you the ways. True. true. All right. You uh, prediction time. Over to yes. prediction. All righty. I know people love these ones. Uh, you want to go first? You want me to go first? 
Crosby freshman. Uh, not much of a difference here, only differing on one match, as we both have KPG beating Zenyu and 2077 beating Nameless. Where we differ is you have Flannel beating BDED, and uh, I have BDED 2 0 Flannel. Yep. Uh, but everywhere else, it's almost exactly the same. Uh, I mean, you know, I do, there's only so many I do matches. My... Right, right. Uh, I got Corvus winning 2 1, you have them winning 2 0, and then I have Shogun winning 2 0, and you have them winning 2 1. Any particular reason why you favor Flannel in this matchup? Uh, like you said, uh, BDED has had like a downswing. I don't think they're quite out of it yet, so I think Flannel's going to capitalize on that. Just uh, take a series. It's going to be really, really close, but I think Flannel's going to win. Okay. Uh, you know what? I mean, I did just talk up Flannel. Then I realized that they have a really rough second <laughs> last two weeks. BDED so, is in a rough schedule. Uh, I think Easy. to me BDED is pretty good, so um, I wouldn't be surprised if that was a rough matchup for them. But yeah. <laughs> uh, nice right. comment. <laughs> a good way to input uh, acid. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what happened? Right. Sophomore time. Does anybody have any comments on the freshman matchups? No, unfortunately, I'm not too familiar, so I will default to what you guys say. <laughs> okay, okay. Is that a good idea? I go with PVS, though, because he's uh, okay. right about Junior, so. Okay, okay. Oh, you saw it. Okay. Uh, all right. In sophomore, we both have BSP beating Zen Z 2 0. We both have LMTH winning 2 0. We both have Nameless winning, but I have KOL taking one game. Uh, we both have Team Ambition Wolves keeping their uh, undefeated streak going with 2-0. We both have Revenge beating Mint, although I have Mint taking one game. Uh, you have PM 2-1-ing SOS, so I have them 2-0. Uh, next match is an FF. And uh, you have OMTZ beating TAGA 2-1. I have TAGA beating OMTZ 2-1. Right, and I'm going to go ahead and redact that and say it's an OMTZ 2-0. Because I just think OMTZ is just so much better. So uh, is Jason still in here? You got any comments, Jason? He did. Uh, Jason, oh. He did tend to go right after sophomore, so. Shame. He, he has unfortunately left the party. I will say uh, I, I disagree with Revenge beating Mint, even with a new jungler. Yeah, this was, uh, I think we made these predictions before we even knew if Mint was going to keep playing. Yep, we did. Oh. <laughs> Didn't know what they were going to do, so with a, we just with a new jungler. I think uh, I think they beat Revenge. To be honest. Okay. Uh, Everything else seems about right, except for you know one of PVS's takes. But... Bad take. Hey, he's I don't have take. any bad takes. I feel like there's a lot of people in the server who would disagree with you, PVS. I will say this. I think TAGA will be our hardest match. It will be a nice matchup for us in terms to see where we're at. And as much as I'm confident that we'll beat them, on the flip side of the coin, I won't be surprised if we lose. Like, that's the same same thing, right? Like, if they're better than us and they beat us, they would approve themselves to me, right? I'm not going to stay here sit here and make excuses if we lose to them i think if they beat us it'll be because they're a better team not because we're making mistakes very puggers um moving on to junior both have uh og and zenar beating their uh enemies their opponents this week <clears throat> you have mtc taking one game off of zenar uh we both have cdr beating nameless empire 2-0 and uh where we differ is uh, the BBC versus Air match. I have BBC 2 0 Air, and you have Air winning 2 1 over yep. BBC. It's Air season, baby. It's time for them to rise up and take down BBC. That's spicy. Actually, I can see this happening. I mean, yeah, so I. I can see it happening, but. <laughs> That's what I am Why seeing happening. <laughs> okay, okay. What do you think, uh, Acid? You've played both BBC and Air, right? So uh, I have, yeah. Um, 
I think it's gonna come down to is the jungler gonna be on air? It's gonna be like a matchup between Kai and the jungler, and how much is Eager Opener gonna gap the mid laner? If, I heard uh, Kai's not. I heard Kai's not gonna be there. Oh, is he? I Damn. heard he's not gonna be there. Wait, I know. I think Kenrick's not gonna be there either. If I'm not wrong. I think Kenrick's on vacation, so honestly, I don't know what the lineup is. And since the lineup, I well, since I don't know the five man, I'm gonna have to say this might be a little hard for BBC. Um, Air does their jungler's uh, res respectably good. He's the only jungler so far who's left an impression, apart for BBC. I will, that's another story. But out of all the teams I've played so far, he's the only jungler that I remember playing against. Uh, so honestly, if they have a weak jungler on BBC, they might be in for a surprise. Okay. Are any takes? <clears throat> I think everything's pretty straightforward. I, I don't think, think NPC's uh, gonna win. Sorry. MTC? Yeah, I don't think they're gonna get a game off of Zen. Okay. Hold on, let me think here. Zen, Zen. Yeah. Yeah. The All thing right. is, M the thing is, <laughs> MTC beat Air, so like it's, I don't know. But yeah, Zen took a game off early. BBC. Yeah. Sheesh. I don't <laughs> know, that, man. Was it the MTC Air game like really early on in the season? That was not like week one. <laughs> oh, um, it was literally week one, two one. Yep. All right, I, reda I redact my statement. <laughs> All right, and uh, in the senior class, we have uh, we both have Puds winning 2-0. Uh, you have OGW 2-0 over CPP. I have CPP 2-1. Uh, we both have Nightless winning 2-0. You have a uh, G7 winning 2-1. I have AKM winning 2-1. Uh, I think that's... Pretty straightforward. I think the uh, I don't know why you have CPP winning. Can you elaborate that on? Uh, I just think CPP is going to win. To be honest, it's just a hunch. It's it's nothing I can explain. Okay. Does anybody genuinely agree with this take? Like, uh, uh no. no. You have a lot of bias. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I think I think the fact that. Um, the the fact that OGW took a game off Akuma, I don't think the series will be close. And that's not even me saying um, like because it's OGW is my team. I I think genuinely like like um, without bias, I think just off that statement alone, I think OGW two O CPP. I I don't think they lose this series. I think. Anyone can drop a game, but I don't think they win the series. That's what I'm going to say. Okay. And uh, everybody agrees that Puds will beat Redbird? Yeah, it's Puds. Yeah. Puds. They're the only ones who took a game off BBC last season, so. You know what? I, I didn't ask this, but maybe I should. Ever, do you think Nightless is better than AKM? And not not so quickly. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking um, holistically of matchups because I know all their players and their play styles for both teams. So I'm thinking holistically of how they match up. Like like two weeks ago when I called that Nightlist was going to beat G7 Mirage because I knew how the matchups would have turned out. You guys were like, nah, nah, nah. And then they beat G7 Mirage that week in two different best of threes. Um, I will say this patch is Revnon's patch, Akuma's top laner's patch, in True. my opinion. Um, uh, the champions that are uh, meta in the top lane are in his wheelhouse and in his competitive wheelhouse that he's been playing for many splits now. Um, so I want to say due to the patch, it might be a Kuma favored, but I think as a team, uh, Nightlist has the tools to uh, neutralize that. And it really will come down to execution in terms of uh, uh, closing out games. Cool. Well, we will actually get to see that uh, next week. Not this, week. not this week, but next week. That'll be very exciting. Um, but I guess some last-minute uh, housekeeping stuff. Uh, talk about the houses real quick. 
Uh, Infernal in first, Mountain in second, Ocean in third, Cloud in fourth. Not much has changed <laughs> in Nothing's the last changed. couple weeks. Yeah. Uh, Mountain had a good week. They're still trailing. It's really hard to catch up with some of these uh, Infernal teams. And uh, good. But, but when playoffs comes around, single limb. So, uh, yep. Things swing uh, very violently in playoffs. Yeah, things are going to get real spicy. Uh, you never know. Maybe some number one seeds drop early. Other things can happen. So, so on. if, for example, number one and two seed, you know, are both in Infernal, they're not playing in the quarterfinals, are they going to rack up points that week? Or they don't get any points because they're not playing and they're playing in the next week? Points, it's uh, based on your final... Oh, is it based on final standing? Perfect. Then let's yeah. keep it that way. <laughs> okay. No, I'll change it. <laughs> yo, Acid's about to be like, yo, let's not finish top two so we can get more points <laughs> on our group. <laughs> True. All right. Well, I don't think there's anything else to touch on. Uh, if you guys are interested, viewers, uh, I know I am. I'm going to. A little peek at the AKM G7M series. Uh, oh, is it live? Yeah, they're going right now. So, what channel? It's not. It's not on stream. Oh. But, uh, you know. You know. Op.gg spectator. These kinds of things. I mean, to me, it looks like it's not on right now. Oh, they're doing oh, draft. draft. What I understand. Yeah, they're doing draft. They have two they in the call. They have two in the call. Uh oh. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> Maybe they pushed it back 15 minutes. Sorry. <laughs> you never know. Okay. 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 Um, yeah. So thanks to everybody coming out. Uh, thanks for all the guests who joined us this week. You're including welcome. JC. Uh, JC, he dipped uh, immediately for... after sophomore. So thank you for having Great. us. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, if you guys, I don't know if anybody's like a LOR fan. But uh, yeah, we got our tournament going tomorrow. Be pretty poggers. Bracket on screen, PBS. Would that be impossible? Uh, I could pull that off. We have some pretty pog people in the tournament, so uh, wait, yeah, pog, you guys... like yeah. PAWG? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, I mean, okay. maybe, maybe, but uh, no, to be confirmed, confirm, confirm 100%. Yeah, oh, no, I'm pulling it up, pulling it up. Uh... We see. All right, it, it is on screen. It's on screen. You say so. I, I just got okay. it. So that's our bracket. It's been posted in the LOR uh, Discord channel. If you guys want to check it out next week, uh, uh, ROTM Aikado playing in it. And uh, I say it's pretty neat. It's pretty good. Like a best player in NA. So <laughs> they'll, all be, they'll all be competing for a $100 prize pool. The entry. Uh, I, I'm super, super excited if you guys can't tell. So, uh, come join us tomorrow if you want to um, check it out. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. All right. Thanks. Take care. Thank you. Take care, everyone.